I eat every day. Once again, for a very Take it to the top, baby. <laughs> what is going on, members of the prestigious The Bomb Squad? I am your leader of The Bomb Squad. My name is Don The Bomb, and I am your host for yet another epic, monumental, life-changing food review. Look at the smiling little girl with the red hair. We know her lovingly as Wendy. Wendy may not be at Wendy's fast food burger chain, but we see her on every bag and every cup. She is a happy, happy young girl. And why not? You can have your choice of delicious burgers, chicken sandwiches, fries, and the beloved Frosty every single day if you wanted to. And if you look right here on her collar, what does it spell out? Spells out mom. What a lovely, lovely thing. What is more wholesome and loving than mom? Does that mean she's a mom? I thought she was a little girl. I guess by now she's probably a grandmom at this point. Anyway, anyway, I am here to do a classic food review. What I have here is, I don't know if it's new or not, but it's new to me. It is the Wendy's Ghost Pepper Ranch Chicken Sandwich. And then also here, I know this is a limited time only. This is what prompted me to go to Wendy's because I wanted to try this out. This is the Salted Caramel, caramel, whatever it is, frosty. Oh my goodness. Now that, that's hopefully going to take care of my sweet tooth for me. Because it needs to be reckoned with. Or something of that sort. Anyway, I went to get this. I saw that they also had a ghost pepper ranch chicken sandwich. Now I did try a ghost pepper chicken sandwich last week from Popeye's. And that was pretty good. Um, except for the fact that, you know, with ghost pepper, you expect your tongue to be burning off. And luckily, you know, it wasn't that hot. But it was spicy, though. But not what you would expect from a ghost pepper. We'll see how this one compares as far as the heat index spice meter goes. Get my napkins out. So it's actually a two-for-one special Wendy's review. A twofer. Twofer, if you will. All right, so this Wendy's Ghost Pepper Ranch Chicken Sandwich. This item cost me $6.89 for the sandwich. I got the large salted caramel frosty, which cost $2.99 at my local Wendy's. Your mileage may vary on that as far as price goes. So on this here Ghost Pepper Ghost Pepper Ranch Chicken Sandwich. This is Wendy's Legendary Spicy Chicken Filet. Glad they used the spicy chicken filet instead of the standard chicken filet. Gives you a little more spice. Turns up the heat a little bit. That's a smart move on my, for me. That's what they should have done with the Popeyes. I'm not sure if they did or not. But anyway, it's the Wendy's Legendary Spicy Chicken Filet with three layers of ghost pepper heat, including ghost pepper seasoned fried onions, Ghost Pepper American Cheese, and Ghost Pepper Ranch Sauce with lettuce and tomato. Don't like tomato, but got to give an accurate review so the tomato is left on for review purposes. Oh, man. So let's get into this, shall we? Wendy's Ghost Pepper Ranch Chicken Sandwich. Oh, this is a pretty decent-sized spicy chicken filet. I love to see it for $6.89. Which isn't a bad price for fast food sandwich these days. Oh my goodness, what is going on? It's definitely slathered in the sauce, which might make it a spicy endeavor. I'm hoping for that. All right. Oh, Sophie, don't make that kind of noise over here. Yes, my dog Sophie is once again nearby for any scraps that may fall upon the ground. Yeah, she's going to have to beat me to them though. All right, so without any further ado, I'm already four minutes in. Man, I like to talk beforehand. I like to develop a story, character. I know, I'll shut up and eat. 
down the hatch. As I slobber everywhere. A nice juicy spicy chicken filet. Get a little bit of that spicy flavor from the breading. The lettuce and tomato. They're just there. They're there for the ride. I'd rather not be lettuce or tomato anyway. I prefer maybe pickle like some of the other chicken sandwiches have. Lettuce and tomato. Eh. Not a fan anymore, but it adds some crunch and some vegetable elements to the sandwich. The um, ghost pepper seasoned onion, nice and crunchy. Does have a little spice, which you would hope for something that's advertised as ghost pepper. The ghost pepper American cheese. Well, also, you can notice a little bit of the spice. The ghost pepper ranch sauce is spicy. For those of you that are sensitive to spice. <clears throat> oh my gosh, goodness, I got choked up there. Where's my voice? <coughs> Damn. Anyway, the ghost pepper ranch sauce is spicy. Is it ghost pepper hot? No, but for those sensitive to spice, they're probably not going to enjoy the sandwich very much, so you want to stick to maybe a standard chicken sandwich. But it did affect my voice enough to tell me that it is a little spicy. But is it ghost pepper hot? No, but it serves its purpose. You really can't go full throttle with ghost pepper when you're dealing with a fast food sandwich. Probably cut the sales down a little bit, or a lot of bit. But yeah, it tastes good though. I made a mess. It's good. I'll give the sandwich a 7.5 out of 10. I would have liked it better if there was pickle instead of lettuce and tomato. I'll be it as it may. Sometimes in life, we have to learn to live with disappointment. But the sandwich is not disappointing. And here is what I went to Wendy's for. The salted caramel, caramel, call it what you will, frosty. The large size cost me $2.99, I think I mentioned already. Man, I am really messed up from that sandwich. It's very saucy, which isn't a bad thing. They give me a straw. Nope, no straw. They gave me a fork for frosty, a fork. What the fork are we doing? How am I supposed to eat a Frosty with a fork? What are we doing? What are we doing? You gotta be kidding me. A fork. Wendy's, what are we doing? A fork. Good thing I thought ahead and brought a spoon to the party. I was thinking it might be too thick for a straw. Good thing I did. All right, so let's get into this salted caramel frosting. Get this bag out of my way. All right. Oh, look at that. Goodness. Down the hatch this goes. Oh, it's melted a little bit, which is all right. It's easier, easier going down. Mm, get that. You get that caramel, caramel, call it what you will, flavor very, very predominantly. I'm not sure about salted, though. I guess you can kind of. Not so much a salted, but definitely a caramel, caramel flavor. It's got a good flavor. It definitely is as advertised. Not so much on the salted part, but definitely the caramel. Got, I have that there. 
this is good. That's has a very good flavor. I cannot wait to drink the rest of that. I'll have to give this, I'll have to give this an 8.5 out of 10. So I'm pretty, I've been eating a lot of fast food lately. As you can tell by my video upload uh, pace, rate, whatever you want to call it the last couple of weeks. So I probably gained a few pounds here or there. My arteries are probably slowly clogging. Unfortunately, it's a life of delicious food that's not so good for you. Or is it? I don't know. Doctors say otherwise. I guess we'll wait and see what happens. But remember to like, subscribe, comment, share, enable notifications on your cellular device if you want to see more of my high-quality videos. And remember to ring that bell to get them when they're uh, released, which I try to do regularly. And remember... On your way to Wendy's, if you get into a little bit of a fender bender or just can't find a Wendy's near you, just remember these words and you'll get through it A-OK. -okay. And that is, all that glitter isn't gold for Donna Bomb and that little girl Wendy. We wish you farewell and adieu and may peace be with you until the next one. Have a good night, everybody. What a kisser.